Okay, perfect. Okay. So I went ahead and uh, uh, muted everybody except for Cindy. So this is just a nice quick training call for everybody. We're going to learn a couple of things tonight. Uh, how to navigate our Facebook website, why it's important to use our Facebook uh, to make sure anytime you get a prospect, new member, make sure they get access to this Facebook if you can, because this is where we, our team makes all of our announcements. We're trying to keep everything in one place because it's a lot easier. As you can see, we already have over 3,000 members on our Facebook page and over 2,000 members already signed up on our team and our network. And so it's really hard to uh, communicate with everybody in several different places. And so uh, by having this Facebook page, uh, Cindy, John, and Jamie have been helping me a lot. So I wanna kind of show you what we're doing with this page. Um, really quick, if you look at it here, obviously, you know, you can scroll down and there's a pinned post. A lot of people ask me, where's the pinned post? The pinned post, pinned means it's basically pinned. If you think about pinning something onto a board, it's just stuck, it stays there. So the pinned post will always, always be the top post on the page, okay? So if you click on the pinned post or you continue reading, at the bottom of the pinned post, you've got here, if you can see it, make sure, see if you guys, let me know if you guys can't see this. Uh, but when you click on it, it's pretty long, but um, at the bottom of it, you have all of these links right here. Compliance, uh, pre-launch phase, comp plan, uh, all this kind of stuff, YouTube channel, it's all right there on the pinned post. Um, I'll probably put the YouTube channel in the file section as well. But it's very important to uh, basically, I, well, let's put it this way. If you want to fast start somebody and to train them in this business, Tell that person to read the pinned post and scroll to the bottom and then find the file section. The file section is right here on the left where it says files. So right here it says our network underneath. Go to files, click on it, and um, check this out. Video tutorial how to register. Cindy made that today. Thank you very much. Product and comp plan PDFs in multiple languages. Um, having enrollment or payment issues. Uh, we've got troubleshooting steps in there, compliant videos you can use uh, for marketing. I mean, basically, everything right here in the file section, that's all you will ever need to do. You will never have to scroll down on the page and look for anything. In fact, um, the calls, the weekly calls, I'm going to put them in the file section as well. So They're in there, John. They're in there. They are. Uh, not, 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 I mean, not just the recordings of them, but also the the links to the weekly call. It's the same link every time on every call. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I'm gonna put the link for the Tuesday and Thursday calls. It's the same link for the next until December. So um, it'll always be the same link. It'll always be at Tuesday at nine Eastern and Thursday at nine Eastern. Those are all prospect calls. I record every single one of them in case there's new updates or whatever. We will also put that in the file section as well. So you can always click on it and then we'll always uh, make an announcement too. But if I were a new member and I signed up and I wanted to learn all about this opportunity, I would come right in here. And for example, uh, let me click on this, product and comp plan, PDFs in multiple languages. I click on that and see this right here. You've got German, Czech, Slavic, Chinese, English, Spanish, Tagalog, uh, Greek, Dutch, French, and I'm waiting on Japanese, Portuguese and Vietnamese right now. And so um, if anybody <laughs> else has any other languages they can help with, let me know and I'll be happy to send you the PowerPoint in English. But we're constantly adding to this, right? Because I'll give you an update on the countries coming in here in a minute. But anyway, that's all you have to do to uh, learn the Facebook page is literally pin post files. That's all you only ever have to know. Okay, so John, you might want to throw in where they can find the <clears throat> the Q and A link to ask questions is both in the pin post and the file section. Right. Okay. So uh, let me go through here. Q and A right here. Mm -hmm. So in the file section, when you want to post a question, post it in here. Go to files Q and A, and just go in there and post a question. And then we'll see it. We get notifications on our phones and stuff anytime anybody posts in here. And we'll circle back and we'll answer those questions. The reason why we don't want people just to do personal posts or, you know, say, hey, welcome so-and-so and this, that. We, we actually do two to three welcome uh, messages a week. The reason we ask that, not that we're mean and nasty, 
it's because we have 3,000 members in here. Soon we'll have 5,000, 10,000, 15, you know, however many it'll hold. And what if everybody had a question at one time and all of a sudden there's 20,000 posts? You know, I mean, you just, it, it's, it's easier to streamline this because we want you to benefit from this page as much as possible. And we want to make it easy for you because if you can literally refer people to this page to train them, what if you're at work or you're busy and you can just say, hey, go here and here's a prompt plan, here's this, here's that. It's all right here in one place, okay? So this page is for you guys, all right? And so there's nothing on this page that has my link in it, Cindy's link in it, John's or Jamie's link in it. Even on the YouTube channel, I could easily create YouTube videos and just recruit like crazy if I wanted to. There are zero links on my YouTube videos, nothing. I am not here to uh, cross recruit. I've got my 10 people. I've got more than 10. I don't need anyone else. Now I want to help everybody else get their 10. So um, everything we do on this page is usable. Uh, you can share it with anybody you want. Anything we create, we have approved at corporate first. So that way you can feel safe using it. Okay. And so, um, but anyway, that's this page. So just want to make sure pin post at the very top and um, the rest of it, just the file section on the left. That's it. That's all you have to know on this page. And, it, you know, and that way you don't have to sit there and scroll down forever and ever and ever. Anything that's relevant, we put in the pin, uh, we put in the file section and Cindy and I literally go in there at least once a week and we update it. So once, once or twice or three times a day. <laughs> yeah. 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 It just, but we're, it's always, it's updated information. Okay, so anyway, so that's how that works. Uh, very easy to navigate this page. Let's come over here and let's teach people how to sign up properly. Cindy, thank you so much. Um, she put that video together today. In the file section, there is a video tutorial step-by-step -step on how, how to sign up. And if you miss a step, it's gonna give you that oops message that we all love and enjoy so much. And so, um, we don't want that oops message, it sucks. And so, um, but there's ways to go around it. So let's talk about the sign up process troubleshooting. I put, I just listed a few things, items on here that we seem to get the most, we run into the most. Did not receive your email confirmation. Okay, did not receive your registration email. Let's start with those two. Okay, if, if you have not received your initial email, when for example, you go in, you receive the link from the person who signed you up, and you go into the link and you put in your initial information, you know, your name, your address, whatever, put everything in there, and you do not receive an email confirmation, it's one or two, it's one of two things. Either A, you put the wrong email in there and they emailed it to an incorrect email, that could be possible, or number two, some reason um, your server's blocking it. And so check your spam, check your junk, whatever. If you have not received your confirmation email, you cannot go any further in the process and you can't receive your registration email. So you can go in there and this is what I would try. This is what I would suggest. If you're still waiting for a confirmation email, you can do a couple different things. Assume if you haven't received that, if you're not showing up on your uplines uh, tree or levels or tiers or whatever, if you're not showing up in their back office, you're not registered. So all you would have to do is go back and get the link from your sponsor once again and re-sign up. That's it, just re-sign up. Make sure your email is 100% correct. I've asked them to make you put your email in twice. Hopefully they add that, uh, but, or change, uh, use a different email address. Do whatever you need to do. Get that a confirmation email, okay? If you have received that confirmation email and you haven't received your registration email, that's a whole other story. So uh, that usually if you've received your confirmation email, you should receive your registration email because they'll send it to the same place. But let's say you have it. Um, same difference. What you can, so you, you're in the system. So you are in the system. You've got an ID number. Okay. If you have an ID number, you're in the system, and you don't have a link to finish your registration, all you need to do is go get onto the sign-on page, right? and you click in forgot uh, password. And then when you put in forgot password, then, so you scroll down to the bottom of it. Let me pull it up really quick here. 
me a second, see if I can find it. Um, let me do that like I'm logging in. I'll go to new window, our network. Because everything is working now. So if something's not happening for you, it's something we're doing on our end, not corporate. Okay, so I go to uh, log in right here. John, you need to screen share that. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. So I am right here. Okay, so I just went to our network.io. I went to the bottom, I went to login. Then right here, forgot your password, click here to reset your password. Okay, type in your login ID. I don't want to do that because I don't want to reset my password, but you just type in your login ID right there, and then you click reset. If you click reset and nothing happens, it means you're not res registered at all and you just need to start the process over. It means get the link from your sponsor because if you hit reset and they'll say, oh, it's not working. No, it's working. It just means your email's not on file. You're not in the system at all because you never confirmed it to begin with. <clears throat> so just know if you click reset and nothing happens, then get your link from your sponsor, re-sign up, go through the process, okay? Watch Cindy's 15 minute video. It'll show you step by step how to sign up. If your email is on file, you click reset, it, it'll say, we just sent your uh, password or your reset link to this email, it'll show you the email. If that email is incorrect, so you're reading it, it's like, oh, they sent it to my incorrect email. Then you're gonna need, that means we have an incorrect email on file, and you can do this 200 times and it's also gonna go to your incorrect email. If that's the case, then just email support, support at rnetwork.io, type in your ID number, your name, your correct email, and write in there, I have, uh, well, in fact, let's do this. This is the best way to do it. So go to support, click on support here at the bottom. Put your name in there, okay? Your name may not be John Johnson, but that's okay. So, okay, and then I'll just put, you know, w at a.com, whatever, just make something up there, right? And okay. And reason for have not received email, you know, I'm waiting for an email, okay. And then just put my name is, boom, John Johnson, ID number, type in whatever number, boom, okay. Uh, I tried to reset my password, comma, however, it appears you have my incorrect. You just have to be very email on file. Please change it to this email address. You know, whatever, you know, wa.com, whatever it is, you know, just put it in q.com this time, okay? And uh, email, okay? And email me back to let me know okay so that way that way they change your email because at that point if they have your wrong email on file they're not sending you the link back you're going to have to still go back in there and reset your password just say email me back to let me know support let me know you've changed my email so i can go back in there reset it get in and finish my registration okay but it needs to be something like that your name your email address your id everything so that way they know what they're doing. Support, they're getting the tickets faster now. Last week they were down for several days because the programmer was back in there doing so many different things. So every time he's back there, support cannot get into your account. So there were literally three and a half days last week that they were not returning tickets because they couldn't. They, were, they, were, they actually had no access. But that's what a support ticket should look like. You just go down there, click on support, put it in there, let them. The biggest issue we're running into right now is the email issue. So uh, we had 350 emails returned to us. And so undeliverable because they're incorrect, usually by one or two digits, whatever that may be. That's either your sponsor put it in incorrectly or you put it in incorrectly, somebody did. So that's why a lot of people aren't receiving their email. If it shows that, um, uh, say for example, you go to reset email and it shows the correct email address on your screen. So it says, we just sent your reset link to this email and it's your correct email and you do not receive it. That means either A, your email server is blocking it 
or you know well usually it's blocking it because we the, we've we've sent the email out if that's the case i would try to re-register with new email or send support a ticket and say hey i'm not receiving this email but sometimes there's funny emails like it, i always tell people it's always better to use a gmail account for some reason no matter what business i've ever been in when they do mass emails gmail seems to always be the one that works the best that's just how it always is so but um you know it there's nothing wrong with just setting up a new gmail account and trying it that way but that's typically what happens is uh you get stuck in that email process is either a you have the wrong email on file to begin with or b your server's literally blocking the email that it's marking it as spam or junk or something and you're not getting it at all you've got some kind of fire block what you may want to do is see if you you've got a firewall on there for you could you could have said hey block spam email and might you could have a setting on there that's blocking all your spam email so if it was going to go to spam and they thought it was spam you won't get it that's on your end that's not on corporate or it could be something like uh like i said um you know it's just a weird email account that corporate that what for whatever the email chimp or whatever it is they're using doesn't recognize it's not going through so i would i would i would suggest using a gmail account if you can but again those are the steps just use the link again re-sign up if you try to get in and pay three weeks ago and um, you haven't been able to complete your registration the link they sent you three weeks ago is still working so go back to the email from three weeks ago click on that and start the process wherever you left off okay so those are the email issues. That's the biggest one I'm running into. That is the, absolutely by far the biggest issue that we're having. Um, let me move on to the next one here. Go back to new share and uh, right here. Okay, so beginning. Okay, issues with promo code. This one's easy. So you can either all caps or lowercase. It doesn't matter which one, rev card, R-E-V-V-C-A-R-D. Do not copy and paste it. Do not put a space or hyphen or anything in between. Just rev card. Two V's. R E V V C A R D. When you click on it to type in the promo code, put your cursor to the left and hit the left arrow if you need to. It has to be all the way to the far left. Type it in and it's working. It's working great. I wouldn't use a phone. I would not use anything but a PC or a laptop when I'm signing up. Now you can use phones and stuff, and some of them are working and it's fine. I choose not to. I use my laptop every time. I have not had an issue. Every single person I've signed up has gone through. I'm not running into one issue. Now other people have, and so, and usually it's one of those is usually snagging people up on the email or there's some kind of hyphen or anything like that. Uh, issues with paying. First, let's start. If you're outside the U.S., you're going to have an issue with paying 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 until after wednesday we will have all the international processing set up and we will go ahead and um announce it so then credit cards outside the u.s whatever all that processing will be complete after wednesday at some point or maybe even wednesday night and we'll let you know and then you can go in there either a uh, go back to the original link you had if you're not in the system at all and you can check to see if you're in the system if you go in there and you um, reset email and it doesn't show anything, you're not in the system. That's how you check. That's that's the best way to do it, reset password. If you go in there and it says you hit reset password and it says, or you try to log in and it says email already in use, that's another thing we run into, right? Email already in use, but you can't get in. That is a support ticket saying, hey, it says my email's already in use. I can't get in. Here's my ID number if you have it. If you if your email's already in use, you should have an ID number. If you don't know what it is, reach out to the person who directly sponsored you. Have him or her pull your list in their uh, back office and give you the ID number. Say, it's show my email's not in use. It's not allowing me to get in. Now, if it says email already in use, then again, you should be able to backdoor your way in with the reset email, with the reset password. Again, make sure when it sends you that email or the little the next screen that is a correct email address for you because nine times out of ten is an incorrect email address that's what we keep running into and people say no if i put my right email in i put it in i put it in correctly and then we see it and then it's incorrect so because people type their emails in fast and stuff anything can happen so very easy to make that mistake issues with paying 
Another thing is this, Cindy put a, an amazing tutorial together. There's two things that can catch you on pink, I've noticed. When you get to the first screen, uh, before the final payment screen, it shows something like a, you know, you've got to accept the terms and conditions. You, you've got to check that box, terms and condition. Another thing too on that page, when you put the rev card code in there, Fill out your personal information. Do not fill out your business information yet. Leave that blank. Definitely do not fill out both. If you fill out both, you will not get through. We had someone the other night put their social security number in one and their EIN number in the other one. Couldn't get through. You've got to use your social security number. The EIN, the business, all that, we can set that up on the KYC process when we open the banks. Right now, just come in with your name. Use it, skip the business one, just don't worry about it for now. Use your name, your social. When the banks come out, July, August, or whenever it is, hopefully July, you can KYC and you can put your business information in there and you'll be fine. You can change it, you can switch whatever you want. Um, but right now, just get in. So name, leave the business blank. Click on the terms and conditions and then go to PMC, and go to the next page. On the next page, on the top right, leave it blank so it'll ask you i think for like your name and cindy you can correct me if i'm wrong here your name email everything on the top right leave all those blank this is where it catches a lot of people it's tricky and i'm trying to get them to change it in that one do not click the box where it says i agree to terms and conditions actually click on where it says terms and conditions click click on that link pull up the terms and, and conditions scroll down and hit accept and that automatically clicks that box for you if you do not do it that way and you just click the box it'll bring up that oops message and you won't be able to pay okay visa or mastercard right now visa mastercard visa mastercard that's it no other cards yet there there may be discover and other cards later right now it's visa or mastercard okay so if you follow all of these steps you should be able to get in these are the troubleshooting steps that I'm going through tonight um, and nothing else. I'm just trying to get what the, the biggest issues have been. Um, if John, there's can I just add one thing yeah. real quick? Yeah. One thing I just thought about that I've noticed too with helping some other people is if you get an oops message or an error message on the payment page yep. and you need to go back and change something, refresh your screen first yes you will have to re-enter if you already entered your credit card information and all that but it seems to work better if you get a, an error message you're going to continue getting it right. so refresh your page re-enter your information and then try it that way that should get it get everybody through it yeah yep. another thing i would suggest clear your cash cookies before you even yeah. sign up like right before you sign up, clear your cash. And all you do to clear your cash, and in case no, anybody doesn't know how to do that, um, let me show you how to do that. So you go here and basically just pull up any website. So I'm up here. Hey, I click on, now I'm on Chrome. It can be anywhere. So you go to file or whatever. But right here where it says history, you just go in there and you just hit, click on history and you just clear your cash cookies. So you just clear browsing data and click on it and then just clear data just like that clear your browsing data which is called clear your cache cookies you do that and then you shouldn't have any hiccups as long as you sign up correctly and that's all you have to do i don't know if you guys even saw saw me do that but this is robert real quick cindy i sent you a private message on here did you receive it in the messages uh what's your last name robert oh right here right now i'm, I'm typing you back yes Okay, in chat. Yeah, I'm giving you a yes. Okay, go ahead. Yep. So anyway, um, so that's how you clear your cash cookies. And let's see here. It's not pulling up this page. Let me find this page again. Where am I? Okay. Make sure. Are you guys seeing my uh, uh no you're not screen sharing? You're not screen sharing. Oh yeah, the PowerPoint's there, yes, John. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. So those are most of the troubleshooting steps we're getting. Uh it seems to be an email, promo code, or paint. Again, after Wednesday, everything's fine. Now let's move on to additional countries. Additional countries should start Wednesday night. Um, we should have Latin America. We should have all of Europe. We should have, I think, Australia, Japan, a couple others. Now, let's not put this out there online yet, 
potentially next week we'll have the rest of the world other than maybe a couple countries so that's when everybody is asking me for this country that one that one um, i spoke with richard this morning and he said potentially the rest of the world the following next monday by next monday tuesday wednesday early next week we'll have every other country on there so um that's awesome uh, outside of maybe a couple but you'll know what they are when they're on the drop down box right so but by wednesday or thursday we should have latin america europe australia um whatever whatever we listed on that post um on our facebook page so all of those countries will be added it, you know, it's a process to get all the countries in it's a lot of paperwork it's a lot of stuff but these guys are actually moving incredibly fast to be honest with you they're they're moving really fast uh we're trying to help them with translations and everything we can do now now once the uh once the um uh, office is open and they bring in the the gentleman over at vid army and they bring in their uh marketing guys then they'll be able to start doing things in additional languages themselves and they'll be able to do all that kind of all that stuff's coming all the marketing is is coming okay so we just have to be a little patient we don't even have a product yet <laughs> so they're not going to market till we have a product to market with and or market market for we need to market product and we need to deliver the product last thing we want to do is market 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 and then they order the product and we don't have it to give to them. So um, that product's coming June 6th, then we'll be able to market it. People ask me all the time, what am I gonna save, da da da. The answer is, I don't know. Like I haven't seen everything on it yet. I know there's a lot to it. I know that they're linking databases and it's a lot more aggressive than what you may be thinking as far as savings. Um, because if a company has a sale going on or a coupon or whatever it may be, it's going to eliminate your need to cut a lot of coupons and do a lot of different things. And so there's a lot of good things on this where there's a lot of ways to save. I can tell you this, Richard is very well aware of the next thing, retention. He is stickler. He is committed to make sure you save more than you pay, whether it be on uh, vacations, whether it be on trips, whether it be on sh just regular everyday shopping, whatever it may be. These guys are working incredibly hard to sign up more and more merchants more vendors, whatever you want to call them, to save you money. So um, if people, well, I get this question almost daily. How do I promote our network? Right now, uh, we're in soft launch. We don't have a product yet. I'm telling everybody, be a little patient if you can and promote what we have available to us, which will be the app, the savings. If I go out and I say, all right, I want you to join my team and da da da. You may get some network marketers, and that's great. But the average general regular person is not going to sign up. They're not even going. To, you're going to put an ad out there, and no one's even going to respond to it. But if you say, "Oh my gosh, guys, I just saved X amount of dollars. What if it's a hundred bucks? What if it's two hundred? What if it's even one twenty? What if it's ninety bucks? I just spent. I just saved ninety dollars. I just saved a hundred dollars. I only spent thirty eight bucks. I saved ninety dollars. Is that appealing? How much better does that sound than, "Hey, come join my team." I'm looking for 10 liters. I'm looking for this. I'm looking for that. If you already have the contacts, great. Do it. Do whatever is working for you. But if you're a new marketer and you're just trying to get your 10, lead with product. Use it. Use the product. Lead with it, and they'll come. Ever, ever see that movie, Fill the Dreams? If you build it, they will come, right? If you use it, they will come. Just remember that. If you use it, they will come. Show your savings. Boast your savings. Brag about how much money you're saving. People love to save money. And there's a retention program. If you save more than you pay, you're not going anywhere. So other countries, I get this question, well, what stores are on it? I don't know. There's hundreds of thousands of places. So I, my best answer is let's see what, let's get the app. Let's see what's on there. And I know they're constantly adding to it. And a lot of these are big box stores and a lot of franchises and a lot of franchises are worldwide guys they're in all over the place and and i don't know all the places i do know richard wants to he said hey if you're buying noodles in some small village in cambodia i want you to get a discount so they're working very hard to constantly add more and more things to this so it's not just going to stop and end with the app and the discount rewards and everything. there's going to be a lot of different things a lot of different ways to save because our goal is retention. We we want people to have zero members and still feel like they have value with that thirty eight dollars. That makes sense. So that's a retention program. That's how you promote our network. Building retention. It's all together with saving. 
this program is about saving money. And hey, I mean, John. Yeah. That's John Campbell here. Yep. Uh, can I share an, uh, an additional point on the promoting part of it? Yes. Thank you. I, I, I normally work with a lot of new uh, newbie, newbies, people who are just starting. So this is mainly for them, but this is actually for anyone uh, because I've been asked that question over and over again. How do I go about getting my 10? How do I go about getting my 10? And there are two main ways, especially for new, new persons to do that. Number one, after you do what John just said about lead with the product, get the person to one of the calls and let John or whoever's doing the call sell the person. Number two, add the person to the Facebook group and let the post in the Facebook group sell the person. Those two things will get you going if you're if you're a new person it'll get you going it'll build your little confidence and you'll start to seeing that people will start reacting because when when you add a person to the facebook group think about all of the posts and all of the comments that are happening in the facebook group those are notifications and those notifications go ding 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 and people start thinking hey wait a minute something's going on something's really going on here because there's a lot of things going on so one of those two or both will work especially for new people all right thank you john yeah no problem and i've got a question for you john so really quick and not to put you on the spot but okay how long have you been in network marketing almost six years but almost six years okay uh, so, well let me put it this way on almost six years online i go all the way back to amway and snh green stamps <laughs> okay so 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 you're talking a few decades all okay have you ever had an upline do more for you than never done in this never okay ever. and the reason i ask you that question and thanks for being honest is because one thing we committed to when we first started is we want to do most of your heavy lifting for you i can tell you right now if you learn to stream what we're doing is streamlining the process for you we're doing all the heavy lifting because we know everybody's at a totally different uh they're at a totally, totally different level of experience and, and everything else. And so I figured, gosh, I've got decades of experience in sales, marketing, training salespeople. I know it, it's kind of embarrassing. They put, they post my bio today on the Facebook page, but it kind of gives you a glimpse into my world. Uh, I've been in sales a long time, guys. I've trained hundreds with an S of salespeople, not just network marketers, salespeople in general. I've written sales manuals. I've done all sorts. I've done webinars on sales i've taught companies how i've gone into companies and taught their sales team how to sell more effectively i've done all of it and so i thought well what better than to create a page and create a hub for you guys literally that you can use like a back office our facebook group and say let's just do it let's just create everything for our team and you're right john just follow the leader just do what we say to do and you'll be more successful because we're doing all the heavy lifting for you. Get the people on the page, get them, you know, and, and learn it yourself. Go in there and learn this stuff. You know, it's all right at your fingertips. You don't have to create hardly anything. Just and and think of how many hours you will save a week and how more effective you can be. And say you put a capture page together, and we we just throw up an example of a capture page that we really liked. Uh, Jeremy used it. I read it. I liked it. So I, I reposted it, you know, and we'll continue doing those things. And so what, what do you do with the leads? You know, do you want to sit home all day and answer question after question after question? Or do you want to say, you know what, check this out, get the link to the files section. Hey, here's a call plan. Here's this, 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 read this and then call me when you're done. That's so much easier, right? You know, use the resources we created for you. We put them there for, we didn't create those for ourselves. You know, we created that for our team. Um, I already know how to do all this stuff. I don't need to recreate it for myself. I want to recreate it for you guys. And, and uh, so it's duplicatable. We created a duplicatable system for you guys to use. Uh, when it comes to marketing and, and what we're going to do as a team, we're going to do a lot of marketing, you know, starting in June. And it'll probably really hit in July because it's going to take a while to build it all out. I mean, we're waiting for the product. Once the product comes, I've already done the preliminary meetings. I've already 
got my ideas put together. This is what I want to do for the team. This is how I want to market. I want to brand this for you. Let me explain what that means. If I can help brand this, your life just got 10 times easier, and I'll explain why. What if people know what the rev card is because they see it everywhere? What if I blast it all over the country for you guys? You know, and I'm talking everywhere. We blast rev card. We blast the savings app. We do this. If people see it and then you go talk to that person about it, they're like, huh, yeah, I saw that somewhere. You know, where did I see that? They start recognizing it. It takes the average person about seven times to remember something. Okay. You blast it. We brand it for you. When McDonald's became as big as McDonald's, as it wasn't because their hamburgers are better than anybody else's, everybody recognizes the Golden Arches. It was branded. Anything in marketing, when you do it at a professional level, you have to brand. Now, brand is ex branding is expensive, it's time-consuming, and it's got to be done correctly. But fortunately, you've got an upline that knows how to do all of the above. I've done it many times. Okay? We want to brand this for you. What that means is we're not going to say, hey, we're just going to go get you 10 in the pen. We're going to do everything we can help you to get 10 in the pen. Yes, there will be co-ops available. There will be stuff like that. Once you know the marketing starts, I'll start it. I'll see what's really effective versus what's not. I'm going to test it. I'm the guinea pig, guys. I, I will, I'm willing to be your guinea pig. And I'll go on there and I'll spend my personal money uh, you know, on commission because this is how I look at it. It's not my money. 25% of that money is not mine. Because you guys are a team. You guys are helping me build. I'm not going to be selfish and say, oh, it's all mine, mine, mine. I'm not Schmeagle, right? It's not my precious. It's um, it's our money. It's our team's money. 25% of what I earn goes into marketing for our team. Tell me one other upline leader who's ever done that. Okay, and I'm not saying that to boast. I'm just saying that's my commitment to you guys. 25% of every penny I make in our network for the first several months, if not a year, goes right back into marketing. For our team for branding for building for potential spillover whatever you want to call it for co-branding opportunities because i can just keep rolling it back in rolling it back in i can brand in utah then i can brand in colorado then california and then as it grows and the budget increases i can increase the spend which means i can create cr create um i can create <laughs> i can create more width Right? I can brand everywhere, all around the country. I also have my connections. We do international SEO. That means I can run SEO on Google all over the world. So eventually, we're going to brand this sucker everywhere, guys. That's for your benefit. You know, That's what our team's doing. I can't speak for what all the other teams are doing. And they may follow suit. And great, if they do, wonderful. It means more branding. You know, everybody. I don't care if somebody comes in cross line, middle line, side line. It doesn't matter to me. The more people that come in, the better because we have more soldiers out there speaking about the Rev card. And the more people hear about the Rev card, whether it's from you know, a TV uh, uh, ad or online or, where, or somebody else, it brings credibility. Our goal is to bring as many people in as quickly as we can um, through the savings before the Rev card gets here. And then what, this is what's going to happen, guys. We're going to go in there. Next week or 10 days or 11 days or whenever it is, June 6th comes around. We have a product. Boom. We're going to have an initial influx. In fact, we'll have an influx before that because the countries are going to start opening up. We'll have more people sign up. Boom. There's number one. Number two, we're going to have more growth when the product comes out. Number three, we're going to have more growth when the check comes out the next week. People can prove they got paid. Now, we're not going to go online and tell everybody how much we made, but of course, you can tell people, yeah, I got paid. And, and you can have the single conversations and say, yeah, this is what I made. You know, you can do that. We just don't go online and boast and say, hey, you make X amount, amount of dollars each month. So that's going to happen. Then another influx will happen when the bank opens. And then what happens when we roll out the savings for the travel savings and discounts and the other products and services that roll out before? These guys, what we've done is basically we've planned several different, you know, uh, Things to add this, add that, add that. Keep the momentum going before the card gets here, right? So we do this, boom. We do this, boom. We do this, boom. And drip, 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 and influx, 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 all the way up to the card. Card is the cherry on top, okay? That's what we're doing. So that's going to all start in June, you know? And it may trickle into July because we've got to build the I got to build the websites. I got to do all this stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm spending the money to build the websites. 
of spending the money to build a bunch of capture pages to do all the stuff, the initial costs of the SEO. That's all personal money I'm spending for this team. Now, once I test it and things are going well and you guys want to co-op, all you're going to have to do is say, all right, I want to help run a campaign in Tampa or wherever. And I'll say, okay, great. This is how much money it's costing for Tampa area. It's yours. Just pay me a portion of what I'm spending. Here you go. Bam. Tampa's yours. And then when we run that in Tampa, we put your link in there. That's it. We put your link in there. And then you just say, here, anybody that comes in, that's your, that's yours. That's how we do it. That's called a co-op. And that, that, but we want to prove the concept first. I don't want to ask for anybody's money if, if it's not working. That's the last thing I want to do. Because okay, I don't want to take those phone calls <laughs> if it's not working. So let me test it and let me see. But I, I'm confident it'll work. You know, and I've got a very solid plan. I believe I've got a very strong plan. And we'll see what happens. But that's how we're going to do this, guys. And like I said, if you deviate from leading with the product, you're doing it wrong. That I can tell you right now. If you're not using the product yourself, how in the world can you pro promote a product you don't even use? How passionate are you going to be? Oh, yeah, this app is great. Oh, really? What have you saved money on? Uh, well, uh, yeah, about that. You know, Use a product. Lead with it, and the people will come. If this product is even half of what I think it is and what I've heard, then they'll come. You know, Prove you can save more than you pay. There you go. Then all the worries go away. And then don't ever, ever, ever promote it like an MLM. At that point, promote it like a product. People love the product. Oh, if they can pay just to use a product, then you've got something powerful, right? And so, and you've got something that is sustainable and can grow. And I, I honestly believe we're going to break records with this. I honestly believe that. Uh, but step one is obviously being able to reg register. <laughs> and so, like I said, any of those issues, email stuff, just, and you can listen to the recording a couple times. You can watch Cindy's uh, uh, recording of the 15 minute on walking you through how to sign up. You can go into our file section. We've got Right now, it's only in English and Czech and Slovak right now, I believe. Uh, we'll get some more languages in there on the actual sign-up process itself as well. But John, follow up all of those steps. Yeah, go ahead. Dan uh, Nobles is asking if you can please bring up the written, the PDF version of the enrollment process and go over that in okay. here tonight yeah, if you have that time. Really quick here. Yeah, that's a good idea. So let's do this. So uh, nice catch, Dan. That's good. Good idea. Okay, so uh, go to our network. Let's see all my conversations going on. Do, do, do. Sorry. See how many messages I get? I'm not lying. Okay, uh, I don't know if you guys can see those or not, so I'll have, I might have to share my screen again. Uh, okay. Mm. Let's see here. Our network. I'm going to pull it up and then share the screen. So let me go back to share. Okay, you guys should be able to see my screen now. Let me know if you can't see this. So I'll go to files and I go to. We're following you, so you're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right here, registration, right? Enrolling into our network registration tutorial. Boom, right there. Okay. And then, let's see. Uh, May 23rd, how to sign up. I believe it's step. Okay, right here, May 23rd, the newest one. Hey, you guys can see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. All right, so enrollment from invitation link. So click what? Well, click on the link sent to your enroller. Click right there. Step two, click join us, right? So right there at the bottom. So you see the video? You can watch it if you want, but you've probably already seen it. Click join us right here. Fill out the form right here, and this is where you put it in. It should auto-populate your enroller's ID and name. It should already have them up there. If it's somebody other than your enroller, you may want to contact your enroller and say, hey, you sent me your link, but it's not your name. So just whatever. Your first name, your last name, your email address. Make sure type in your email address slowly. Make sure to look at it. Double check it, triple check it, quadruple check it, because that's the killer, right? That's what's getting everybody is the email. Make sure that email is 100% correct, okay? When you put that email address in there, then click continue after you fill it out and it'll take your next step. That's when they send you the email. If you put your incorrect email in there, like I said, you won't get it. And then you're going to yell at us and say we're dumb and our system doesn't work. And we sent, we had sent the email, but it went to the wrong address or 
it could be a, a one of those rare cases that your server is just blocking it. You may have a spam, something set on your system or it's just not gonna get it. I would suggest at that point, use a different email address and try again. I mean, that's the best suggestion to make. Um, let's see, take, taking your first step. So you receive the email verification. You click, you go into your email and you click the link, right? So it'll basically send you this email. You can click this link up here or this link. It doesn't matter which one, right? So verification email, it'll be in your junk or spam or somewhere else. Again, if you don't get it, try it with a different email. Um, then once you get that, the screen will pull up. Let's get you started. Confirm your name is shown right up here and then confirm United States is shown here or whatever country you're in, in the drop down box. Many, many different countries will be uh, put in this week and hopefully all of them will be put in by next week. Don't put that out online yet that they may all be here because we don't know 100% sure yet, but it's possible. So I, I, I've heard the discussion, but I don't wanna, I don't know. So don't hold me to it. Don't hold corporate to it. I'm just saying it may happen by next week where we have all of them outside of a couple. Um, and then right here, can confirm your enroller's ID and name. So again, just make sure that that's correct. Um, and then personal information, put it in here, your first name, your last name, birthday. Make sure it's exactly how it says to do it on this. If it has a slash, put a slash. If it has a dash, put a dash. Whatever the system's telling you to do, do it exactly the way programming works, exactly the way it's programmed. Social security number or country code is gonna be nine digits. Just put it nine digits right there. Um, if it's more than nine digits, maybe you leave a digit off. Just put nine digits right there. Phone number, exactly how they tell you to do it. Address, address two. Really, you just probably just put one address. The address in there, city, state, zip, and then choose your state from the pull down menu. And then plead enrollment or corporate enrollment, leave this blank. Put a big extra. Don't worry about corporate right now. Do that in the KYC process. I get a lot of people, can I use trust? Can I do, yeah, do it when the bank's open. Just wait, it's only a month or two, a couple months, okay? Um, but it's easier just to do this. We're not having issues if people do this. We are having issues if people doing this, okay? So, or if you're gonna do this, corporate, don't do this. Don't, you can't have your EIN and your social in there. But since MLM laws, you have to use the social, don't use the EIN, you can't use them both, or so it won't work, so just leave this blank, okay? I tell you people leave that blank, because then the oops message comes up, and, you know, but that's what it is. Um, create your password, example, you know, right here, confirm your password. So go right through this process right here. Um, click on the box, okay, this is where, click on this one, terms and agreement. The first box, click on this, okay? So go through there, proceed to payment, and it should pull up, okay? Let's review your order right here. Um, and I'll just show you. Promo code, enter rev card. Don't enter, enter. <laughs> Don't type this. Rev card all the way to the far left here, right? Make sure that there's no space between this little area. No hyphens, nothing. Just rev card. Or so it won't work. It just won't give you the $38 discount. Or sorry, $30 discount. $30 discount. Okay. Then go to your payment. Uh, Check out with PMC. So right here, just click on that. It'll take you to the payment screen. Okay, these are the required fills, fields down here. Do not fill this out. If you have an email or password in there, delete it, take it out. Do not fill that top part out, okay? Fill in your payment information. Uh, make sure it says uh, $38 here. It's 35 plus a $3 service fee, which is actually what basically our merchant fee. So think about the card when somebody swipes, you get paid. Well, right now we're paying merchant fees. So if that was with the rev card, we would have paid commission for somebody. Just throwing that out there. Uh, fill in the required fills, make sure it's 100% correct. If it's not, it'll give you the oops message. Visa MasterCard only, not Discover. Visa MasterCard. Okay, now this is where it gets you. Do not click this box. I accept the terms and conditions. Do not. This is where I think a lot of people are getting tripped up. Click on this blue terms and conditions right here. It'll pull up the terms and conditions, scroll down and click accept. That's the only gotcha in the system. I wish they would change it. In fact, I'm gonna ask them to because I didn't realize it was doing that until recently. So click on the blue terms and conditions, scroll down, click accept, and then hit pay down here. 
do not hit pay before you accept this or you will get the oops message. Okay, uh, create PMC account, proceed to checkout, just fill out this information, register and pay, and that's it, and you're done. Just like this. So this is a very good tutorial. Um, the only step it doesn't have in here is it's not telling you to do, do this. Click on the blue thing and scroll down, hit accept. You're gonna have to tell people that. Maybe we can make another one and add that verbiage in there. Um, and then just basically confirm your payment, registration complete. This is what you should receive. Just like that and you're done. And um, your a confirmation email from our network will come and you'll receive the link and everything like that and then thank you with the little dog waving his wagon his tail so that's it so make sure all those are done correctly and you're good okay john thank you for that i appreciate you doing that yeah Listen, no, thanks for bringing that up yeah, thank you so uh, next question is okay on june the 15th when it goes back to 68 dollars are they going to use the same format or something's going to be changed like there won't be no more promo code. Um, I they'll probably take the promo code out because it's not they're gonna unless Richard extends it. I don't know. I I've seen him do that in the past, but I don't know if he will or not. But they'll probably just take the promo code out at that point. Um, so anyway, yeah. So we have till the fifteenth. They're not going to purge the system till the sixth of June. And I was asking Richard about non-payment. They haven't decided on the non-payment stuff yet. If you have a duplicate account, they'll purge it. If it's non-payment, they may just keep you in there because you're going to be skipped anyway until you pay. So they may do an initial purge for non-payment, but I don't know yet. And in the future, if somebody just quits paying, so they just said, oh, I'm not going to pay anymore, they're not going to be purged, but they'll be skipped over. So it actually it actually kind of benefits you in the way because if they don't pay, you're actually getting paid on deeper levels. People that have a really good understanding of the comp plan, if you have a couple of people that aren't paid underneath you, it actually – you actually earn more commission. Sounds crazy, but it's true. If you really understand the comp plan, <laughs> it's actually true. But obviously, we don't want people to miss out. So if they're not paying, and um, I think they said uh, they're going to have it do on the 25th or something, give you a five day grace period. So you'll receive confirmation of when your directs hasn't paid. So you can go and say, hey, you turned red on me. What's going on? Do you need help? Da da da. I can tell you this. What if you have your 10 in the pen? Here, here's just food for thought, guys. What if you have a spillover or you have an organization or you've created or say you have several hundred people. So you got all this commission. Then you have one person didn't pay or two people that didn't pay. Now you only have eight active in the pen. Is it worth paying for them for a month or two because you might make $500 more a month or $1,000 more a month or $3,000 a month if you had those additional tiers open? Food for thought, right? I mean, I, I would do it. I say, you know what? I'll just pay for you for a few months. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why not? I, I'm otherwise I'm jumping over dollars to get the dimes, right? So why not? Why why wouldn't I float a couple people a couple months if it's going to keep those that additional commission coming in? You can do that. You know, there's no rules against that kind of stuff. So a lot of ways we can help our team retain. But again, if they're using the app and they're saving money, why would they stop paying? You know. If they stop paying, they're probably not using the product. I mean, honestly, they're not paying attention. So, um, but anyway, okay, any other questions or anything? We have a couple more minutes and we'll wrap this up. John, is there any word on Bitcoin? Um, yeah, it's going up. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I know there's going to be crypto options in here. I don't, you know, I've heard the timeline's pretty aggressive on crypto wallets and stuff, but I'm going to leave that up to corporate because I don't want to say it. And then if it doesn't happen, I don't want to get screamed at. So, uh, but yes, there will be crypto payment options in the sink. So hopefully pretty early, but I, I just, you know, I, I just want the corporate to come out and say it, but yes, that will be an option. International payments right now, they're using a, a service that was brought to us by one of our members that have been in MLMs for almost 40 years. He's extremely knowledgeable when it comes to this stuff. Richard fell in love with this group, and so we have a very, very strong international payment uh, ability to pay our international members. So um, they'll be able to, you know, works kind of like a PayPal or whatever, but it's, I don't even know, I can't, I can't remember the name of the company or site share it. I, can't, I honestly can't remember who it was, um, but Richard loves them. You know, hey, that's what they do for international. So international is good for now. Yeah. Hey, John, this is Robert. I have a quick question. I yep. got my number, by the way, Cindy. And 
So my question, John, is I had a hard time entering it a couple times, and it says, please contact customer service. Do you know what that's about? Okay, you had, it says contact customer service because of what? I missed something. I don't know. I, I, I think I entered it too many times trying to figure out the number. My number. Oh, all right, then you may want to put in the support. If it tells you to co contact support, I would just send in a ticket and ask him, you know, with your ID number, email. I got my ID. Okay, with it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Put, always put your ID number because some of us may have names that there might be more than one more than one number more than one member with your name <laughs> so you want to make sure that's why they need the id number if possible right and email or whatever right. so okay. um that you know just in case of that kind of stuff so all right thanks john yep hey john one of the things that i do that may help you guys out there as far as getting prospects is in your facebook page you have a section that says when you when your notifications it says friends you may know then you can add them as far as for friends. So what I'll do is I'll go down each of their profiles and find out if they're in network marketing or if they're in Bitcoin, when it got a you know, thing like that, and then I'm going to send them a friend request. And then once they accept it, I'm gonna say, hi, how are you? Then I'm gonna say, uh, have, you, have you ever heard of the Rev Club? Yep. If half, half of them say no. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm working on three or four right now that told me last night, no. Yep. And, I, and I found them this way and yep. everybody, Everybody, everybody's got this section where they can go and add and request friends. Yeah. And once they answer, bam, that's it. Yep. They're that's mine. awesome. And I can tell you another way for future reference, once we get closer to the card, because we know the card has a major crypto play, what I would be doing right now is signing up for every single cryptocurrency online site you can possibly think of in chat rooms and groups for crypto and just kind of talk to people right now and just kind of, Get a fill, build a relationship. Don't hit them with the rev card on day one. Do not just build a relationship, build a rapport. And when it gets closer to January, then you hit them up on rev card. You know, get a little credibility in the group. Get a, every crypto. I mean, that to me, crypto is a target market that we should be hammering. Because if we're if we're talking about, you know, the the low trading fees, the insured crypto, all that kind of, this is music to the ears of crypto enthusiasts, right? On that card. We should be in those groups building a rapport right now, getting ready to just hammer it when it, the card is closer to coming into fruition, right? That's another thing, just throwing that out there. I would definitely, definitely take advantage of that because that is a direct target audience. Another place I would go into, think about this, guys, just think outside the box. I, I, I read a book one called, a uh, book years ago called Guerrilla Marketing, and I, I just followed it to a T. Holy cow, Have, has anyone on this call thought about this? Join groups, couponing groups, and couponing chats, and couponing sites, and go onto YouTube and watch couponing videos and leave comments. And, that, and then once you start saving money, guess what you do? Oh my gosh, check out this cool thing. Look at this coupon thing. I, I just got this coupon app. Check it, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. You gotta hit me up, check, check this out, email me. That's it. That's it. There's a target audience. Anytime you do marketing, you've got to know your demographic. Target your market, right? Share with coupon groups and crypto groups. Get in. Get involved. You guys, anybody, anybody can get 10 in the pen. Anybody can. Think outside the box a little bit. Do that kind of stuff, right? And then just share it just like I did. Don't say, hey, come join this MLM. No, no. Heck no. They're a coupon group. They're not, they're, you know, they don't want to hear about an MLM. They want to hear about, oh my gosh, check out this freaking RAM card, coupon, whatever it's, we're going to call the app. The, the R app, I think it's called R app, right? And so check out this R app. I'm saving an average of this. It's only cost me 38, only cost me $38 a month. That sounds a lot better than, oh, this thing costs 38 bucks. It's like, holy crap, I'm, or holy cow or whatever, you know, I'm saving X amount of dollars. I'm only paying 38 bucks a month, guys, only. It's exciting. Check it out. See, that's what you do, but you've got to do it in a place of couponers, people that are into that sort of thing, right? How much more effective would that be than posting that on your Facebook page? Hey, guys, check out this app. <laughs> you know, here it is. Da, da, da. PM me if you're interested, and then they come back. I didn't get anybody interested. I'm like, well, who did you market to, right? Know your demographic. Go after your demographic. 
So no, great idea, Dan. And uh, and like I said, those other two things, use it, use it, use it, use it. I've got my ten. I don't need it. I'm not going to steal all those people from you. I will go. I could easily go into those groups and I can market the heck out of those groups easily. I know exactly how to do it, but just do that. I'll leave that up to you guys. I've got my 10. Um, my job right now is to help you guys get yours. So, in fact, I'll post those ideas on our Facebook page. Yeah, you know, you can also, you can also go into foreign countries like Vietnam and uh, type in on Facebook, say, Vietnamese Bitcoin clubs and yep. they'll pop up. Yeah. They'll pop up. All the crypto clubs you can right now, all of them, get in there and build a rapport. Don't get in there and sell the cards yet. Cards not here till January. Why would you do that? Don't go in there yet. Now, I mean, you could, once you build a report, I mean, take a couple weeks, build a rapport, get to know the people. But I hate it when people like say, hi, John, how are you? Hey, check out this opportunity. <laughs> I'm like, they don't care about me, right? I'm a dollar sign to those guys. I just delete it. I'm like, forget that. I don't even know you. You know what I mean? I, I have no, you, the person has no credibility with me. I don't know him from Adam. I'm not going to respond. I, I get so many messages and a lot of people are like that. Get to know the people. Make, make some time. This is your business. Guys, this is, could be life-changing. That's what you do, though. Be a pro. Learn to be a pro. We're going to send you a few. Uh, remind me to post that on the Facebook page, some of these ideas. Um, we need to put all, any idea we have that is a good idea, we, we need to post on that page for you guys. So it's, it's a major resource for you. Okay? But that's called guerrilla marketing, and, it's, and it works, guys. I did it for years. And I always thought outside the box. That's how I built businesses as quickly as I did. I never just followed the footage. I always thought outside the box. I always did it. And then I would streamline whatever process I did and I would make it work. But that's how it's done. So anyway, I got to wrap this up. It's, it's after the hour. So uh, good job, guys. Uh, thanks for your input, everybody. I will go ahead and end this. I will put the uh, recording on the website and I will post a couple of marketing ideas for you guerrilla marketing ideas for you on that side as well. Hopefully this helped. Go through the tutorial, watch Cindy's video. Everybody have a great night. We'll see you, I guess, tomorrow night on our prospect call.